One of these videos was taken with the premium glass lens protectors for the One X2. And I'll tell you which one in a minute, but it's not that easy to tell. To preserve the best image quality that you can, you want to avoid using lens protectors as much as possible. But for some shots, it's just not worth the risk. But how much of a compromise are we making? Let's get straight to it and take a look. Flat light is your friend with any 360 lens guards, and I'd expect these flat light tests to give us a pretty good result. In flat light reframed in one direction, you'd be hard pushed to tell which shot is with the lens guard and which shot is without. The image quality remains pretty much unaffected. Panning the shot around the lens guard and crossing the stitch line is where we're more likely to see more reflections, but even then the image quality still holds up really well and is pretty identical to the shot without the lens guard. In this walking shot, however, even though the light is flat, you can see a minor reflection in the lens guard as it points towards the brighter part of the cloudy sky and your eye gets drawn to it more because the camera is moving. And that reflection is falling across the edge of the lens guard itself and we can see that more clearly if I go into the app and toggle the stitch for premium lens guards on and off. So if flat light is your friend with this lens guard, it goes without saying that harsh sunlight is definitely your enemy. And it will usually degrade your image with reflections, refractions and ugly lens flares. Reframing in one direction however, away from the sun, the image quality is unaffected and again hard to distinguish from the shot taken without the lens guard. So who guessed correctly that the image on the right was taken with the lens guard? And if the sun is diffused slightly and the camera isn't moving, then you can look around the whole image with no attention drawn to the lens guard and the image quality remains unaffected. In harsh sunlight, if we move the shot around the lens guard and cross the stitch line, this time the lens guard introduces more flare and reflections. We do expect lens flare when we shoot into the sun like this, but with the lens guards on, we are producing more flare than normal. And more importantly, we're producing reflections that would otherwise not be in the shot. And if I toggle the lens guard stitching on and off, you can see that there's a difference in colour from one lens to the other, which is made worse by the lens guard. This walking shot with the sun behind me creates some ugly reflections in the shot, but it can easily be resolved by switching the shot around and walking in the other direction so the lens is reframed away from the sun. There are some other things to consider with these guards as well. When they're on, you can't use the original sleeve or the lens protector hood and it doesn't fit in the 1X2 camera case. But you can't have everything and it does come with a pouch which gives the camera and the lens guard some protection when you're not using it. The guards do block the USB door, but you can remove it beforehand and still access the USB port. But even with the USB door removed though, you still can't use the 1X2 mic adapter as the guard gets in the way. You can use these lens guards underwater to a depth of 10 meters, but they're only designed for single lens use, so reframing through one lens. In some situations with these lens guards, we are compromising image quality, but we do have to remember why we're using these lens protectors in the first place, and that's to protect our lenses. So are these premium lens guards premium enough for you? Let me know in the comments. My name's Rich, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.